Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to build an automation that will transcribe your WhatsApp audios automatically. So I'm going to start a chat here and I'm going to send audio. Hey there, remember to uh, buy milk. Boom. Today I woke up at 7 a.m., had a cup of coffee, then 15 minutes of meditation and headed to the gym. And now, hey Carl, can you ask Jennifer to follow up with a new client and see if they like the deliverables we sent them yesterday? There you go. So this automation is very handy. If you are sending yourself audio notes, um, you are logging, your has the habit of, of sending you tasks via audio. I'm going to build this automation using Zapier, a transcription service and an application that connects to WhatsApp. And you're going to see that it's very, very easy to set up. Hi there, I'm Andres. I work at Connex and we are an automations and integrations agency, meaning that we can help you automate your workflows and integrate your tech stack. If you have processes that you want to automate, find the link in the description below. Feel free to book a free discovery call with us so we can explore together your processes and opportunities to automate. Let's jump into the workflow. So first, you're going to need a couple of apps. Deepgram is an awesome tool for transcriptions and they have a generous trial to use and it's very cheap to use as well. Then you need Timelines, which is an app that connects to your WhatsApp and connects with Zapier as well. You can find the link in the description below to create a free trial. And then you need Zapier. Once you created an account on DeepGram and set up your WhatsApp number on Timelines, create a free account on Zapier.com, log in, and once you're in, click on Create Zaps. Zapier is a platform that allows you to integrate apps and automate your tasks and move data from point A to point B to point C. When planning for workflows, Zapier is an event-based platform. So when planning for workflows, we usually go with the formula. When this happens, do that. So for this specific case, when we receive an audio message on WhatsApp, send that to DeepGram and send the result back to WhatsApp. Let's start building it. So let's focus on this second part here. And for the trigger, we're going to look for timelines. The event is going to be new received message. Hit continue. We connect and select our account. And then we need to hit test trigger. What Zapier is doing here is trying to pull an existing record. So this is all the information that comes together with trigger. I have the sender name, the sender phone, the recipient phone. Uh, there is no message in this case, but we have a URL to the audio file, among other information. So I'm going to hit continue with select record. Now let's send this audio file to DeepGram. So I'm going to look for DeepGram. The event will be create transcription with plain text. Continue, select our account. And now we need to feed this audio file to DeepGram. So it's asking for the audio URL. What I'm going to do is click on the field and then select the URL in this dropdown and map it this way. We can leave the rest as it is, hit continue, and then test step. This is sending the audio file to DeepGram. And there you go, we got the last message transcribed. Now we need an extra step to send this information back to WhatsApp. I'm going to hit add a step, timelines again, and event this time is send message to existing chat. Hit continue, select your account, and then we're going to map all these fields. So the chat ID, we have the ID coming from the trigger. We can look here, chat ID. The account phone number is the one that is registered with timelines. We select that from the dropdown. You may have more than one. WhatsApp chat JID, again, we look for that. And now the message text comes from step two. So we scroll down, we hit this drop down here, and we map the field coming from DeepGram. Hit continue and test step. It was pretty easy, huh? If you happen to send text and audio to the same number, 
I suggest adding an extra step here, a filter, so this workflow works only when uh, you receive audio and will not cause any errors when you send text. So I'm going to add a filter by Zapier and only continue if message text does not exist. We're going to try this for this specific record and in this case it gives us the green light. Otherwise, if you're sending text, this workflow would have stopped here. The very last step is to hit publish and this automation will start working from now on. This was super easy, right? I'm, as a good practice, I'm going to rename this Zap so we re remember what it does in the future. There you go. As you may say, have noticed, Zapier is pretty flexible with the workflows you try to build. So you can think about using this same workflow to send information and create tasks in your task management tool, be it Google Task, Notion, or any of the 6,000 apps available on Zapier. Let me know in the comments below which app do you use for task management or where would you send these audio transcriptions. If I gouge enough interest, I may record a step-by-step -step tutorial using that tool. Again, let me know if you need help and book a free discovery call to talk about automating your workflows.